Now, everybody's heard of quantum mechanics or quantum theory or quantum physics. But what I want to do today is take a few minutes to try to talk about the core ideas of this theory, what sets it apart from regular physics, and what makes it so weird. Now, in our everyday experience growing up, we deal with baseballs and footballs and automobiles and airplanes and houses, very, very large objects. Even the smallest object that you've ever had has held trillions of trillions and trillions of these things that we call atoms. So our everyday experience with how these objects behave is basically how they behave when there's trillions of them next to each other. But when you zoom in at the microscopic level, at the quantum level, then what you have is a situation where the behavior begins to differ from what we see in everyday situations to how individual atoms and individual electrons behave, and that's quantum mechanics. Now, probably the number one thing that sets quantum mechanics apart is that every piece of matter, whether it's an atom or an electron or a neutron, and also every piece of light, like a photon, a quantum of light, something like this, they all have what's called wave particle duality. They have aspects of a wave-like nature and aspects of a particle-like nature at the same time. Now, in the early days, people knew that light had a wave-like nature because what they would do is they would take the light, they would run it through a prism, and then they would split it into the rainbow, and they would take the colors and they would smash them into each other, and they could see that the crest and the troughs would line up and either cancel or reinforce each other, producing these interference patterns. And so we know that interference patterns come along with the nature of light. So we know from a long time ago that light has a wave-like character. And at the same time, we started doing chemistry experiments and figured out that everything is made of atoms, which looked very particle-like because we could do experiments where we could throw these electrons or protons at various targets and we could see their particle nature. But then something weird happened. We started doing experiments with light where we could see that light only comes in discrete chunks, quantized chunks of energy like a particle. And we could also do experiments with electrons and other bits of matter showing that they can interfere in ways that we thought that only uh, applies to light. So we could see the wave-like nature of matter and we could also see the particle-like nature of light. And then once the full quantum theory was born to explain all of this, we realized that all of these phenomena are governed by probabilities, which is the biggest departure from everyday experience. In the quantum realm, everything is governed by probabilities. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.